Shinnecock tribal members are singing to a drumbeat of joy on their restored reservation beach four years after the disaster of Superstorm Sandy. Thanks to a grant of $3.75 million, the Native Americans joined with several partners to repair nearly a mile of this damaged shoreline. Before work began, the water came up to the tree line. There was no beach left. We never could have um, dreamed that we would have restored our beach to this capacity, and we plan to take care of it going in the future. There's a story among the tribal elders that when members of the tribe came out to see their restored beach, they were in tears because they finally had their beach back again. We used to go down to the Cuffey's Beach where the cemetery is. That was part of our beach. And the kids used to swim from here. To, that's the first thing you teach them is how to swim. Tribal members are not only learning how to swim, they're also learning how to protect the beach environment against future storms. That's why they're planting beach grass and going green. Well, they are putting together green infrastructure, green approaches to dealing with flooding and shoreline uh, problems in low-lying areas. And even what you can't see purifies and protects the beach. Including eelgrass and oysters offshore and then rocks and cordgrass onshore and then beyond that on the upland edge we're using beach grass to create a dune. For Shinnecock kids this is the most popular place on the reservation now. In Southampton, Drew Scott, News 12, Long Island.